What's up guys? How are you guys doing? I haven't spoken to the camera or done a bit of vlogging in a very long time and so I decided during all of this isolation crap that's going on I would put something up on YouTube. Now, I've lacked motivation to do a lot of editing, I've got lots of trips that have been going on basically in the background in the past and I still haven't edited them and my family are getting on my back because they were involved in this trip that we did. We went to um, Napoli basically, insert short clip here. And I haven't edited those videos yet, but I really wanted to post something silly and funny about all of the rubbish that's going on right now with us all being locked down. I'm currently furloughed, as many of you and my friends are as well. But so I've got tons of spare time on my hands, but I've lacked a little bit of motivation to be cracking on with this, but I finally got it together. What I have been up to since this whole COVID-19 thing has kicked off, I'm bored of talking about the virus, I'm sure you're all bored of it too, but this is hopefully nothing to do with the virus and just the effects of it and what's been going on. Um, so the shops have been bare, it's been absolute madness, people were panic buying, that's luckily all over now. And now we're just stuck indoors for the foreseeable until these um, social distancing measures are lifted. They completely ignored the fact that my hair's gone. My hair's gone. It's gone. It's vanished. I always told myself that if I ever had the opportunity to go short, that I would, and me getting let go from my job, not let go, furloughed from my job, was the perfect opportunity to see what I look like short. And to be honest, gang, I don't think I look awful. Here's a little snippet of me getting rid of my bonnet. So How short is that? Oh, oh, that's so much good, you know? oh. 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 Um, we're halfway through, guys. Oh, my hair recedes quite high. <laughs> yeah, all that time you take the piss of will. Yeah, I got quite a bad receding hairline, but look at this bad boy. Ooh. I reckon keep it, yeah. Look at that! <laughs> that looks like, do you remember when Corbett got that one bad haircut? Well, that was fun. What do you want to do next? Every day in isolation starts with breakfast. Usually it's tea or a coffee, your standard breakfast stuff, guys. Every single day I do a bit of exercise as well. This usually comes after dossing around most of the morning or getting some work done for my personal training course or trying to makeshift edit some videos or photos, which never happens. And so I go and do a workout. This usually starts with some skipping, which I've recently become an absolute boss at. I do a little bit of handstandy stuff. I used to be quite good at it. Um, now, as you can imagine, um, I'm getting worse at it because I'm doing it less. I then try and do something quite extravagant, which usually always goes wrong. I have a little nap because I'm quite tired after all of this exercise. And then I do some body weight stuff. Um, sometimes I pick up a brick and put it over my head. And then I finish the little session with usually a little boogie to whatever I'm listening to because it's really important to um, um, move those hips. Oh, this is funny. This is just a clip of me um, trying to get a photo of myself, but it was a video and I was also completely out of focus. Hashtag pro blogger. As soon as I come back from outside, um, it's very important, obviously, um, to wash hands. A very important step in my day. I actually contacted the Metropolitan Police and saw if they were opening a division um, to make sure people were washing their hands because one of my flatmates is actually a copper. Um, she said, no, they're not. No. No. New. You've got to wash your hands, guys. I um, use at least three pumps of soap. I take it very, very seriously. Um, you've got to get all the way up to the elbows. And then while you're at it, you may as well wash your um, face and full patch. I feel like my hair now is taking on a lot more germs than it did before due to the fact that I don't have enough hair. So the germs are coming through my bald skull and into my brain and making me stupid. After washing my hands, I then wash the rest of my body in la shower, in la douche, a la douche. We have had amazing weather in the UK since this lockdown. We had two weeks of um, heat wave. My hay fever's been awful. Anyone else hay fever sufferer? It's been bad, the birch trees apparently. Birch trees. And I've got this nasal spray, which I have to shove up my nose every single morning so I can breathe and talk properly. Oh, you bitch. Next step in the day is annoying my flatmate. Annoy him for a little bit every day after I've done my workout and had a shower. I do some tinkering around again. This is either in the morning or in the afternoon. I do some laptop club because my um, flatmate does laptop club. 
And then this is the most important thing we've done during isolation. Obviously this COVID virus is very, very stressful for many. Many people have lost their jobs. I'm lucky to have been furloughed. So the UK government, government is paying 80% of people's salaries. So I'm getting that, which I'm very lucky and fortunate to have. But um, saving money is very important and it's important to be conservative because we don't have much money going around. Having said that, we decided to buy a few hundred pound ping pong table and it's been the best purchase I've made in a good few years. More important than this camera, as a matter of fact. This ping pong table has brought us together, it's rallied us, it's put, brought our neighbours into the mix um, and also we're ready for the next Olympics. So Team GB, watch these clips, we're pretty much pros now. After ping pong and a couple of beers, it's roughly six o'clock before dinner time. This is the next most important moment of my day, a bath. I run my bath, I put lots of bubble bath in, and then I also put some muscle salts in as well. If I'm feeling like I need to, um, you know, relax my muscles after my strenuous working out. I have a beer as well, of course. Candle, very important to set the ambiance. Also, um, it's very important to stay clean, hence the washing of the hands, the showering, and the baths. I try to have a bath at least once every hour, usually for about 10-15 minutes at the end of every hour. <laughs> Bath time is followed very, very quickly by dinner time. We're quite passionate about food in this household, I'll have you know, sir. Yes, sir. We all like cooking. We're all quite good cooks, actually. Oh. <laughs> it looks pretty average on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty average. Ow! Don't mean to make my head too big, but Will's my flatmate, Will. That's Will. How's your work going? It's fascinating as always. It's a very, very good cook. Homemade shabatis. Giving it a go. Behave, sir. Behave. And that's basically it. I also do a hell of a lot of gaming. Um, if you don't have anyone to play with on COD, the new Modern Warfare, um, I'm wasting my life on that. Um, sunk quite a few hours into that game. Because I've regressed into being a teenager. Because I've got nothing else to do. Because I can't work, I can edit videos, and I can try and stay fit. And apart from that, I've still got about four or five hours a day where I'm either watching Netflix or gaming with my buddies. That's what I've been up to in isolation. What have you guys been up to? Let me know, put a comment below, and get ready for more content on this channel because whether it's gonna be me messing around in my flat in London, ping pong tournaments, beer pong tournaments, um, maybe some whiskey reviews because I've been downing whiskey non-stop as well. Um, a shot in the morning when I wake up, a shot after lunch, a shot in the bath, um, and that equates to 24 shots in a day because I have a bath every hour. I hope you enjoy this little silly video. My views have been going up. Big news, I put it on my Instagram. I got 10K views, 10,000 views on my motorbike video with Corbett. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that good? Like, I put a lot of effort into editing that video. It's probably the most hours been sunk into a vlog. Anyway, I hope you're all keeping well on a slightly serious note. Stay... Rain, I'm trying to record audio. Stay safe. Stay isolated. Don't be stupid, don't be going out in park. So look after yourselves, look after your mental health, look after your physical health, try and get some exercise done, and keep in touch with the family and old people who are all stuck indoors 24 seven. I hope you guys are well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. What are you holding? I don't know, it's up to interpretation, boys.